Get the mail today. Long lines at your post office and lengthy delays and deliveries are prompting an outcry from Maryland Democrats and I took their fight to the streets right outside the main post office in downtown Baltimore today. WMER 2 News Jeff Hager has more on that story for us tonight. Critics are taking aim at the U.S. Postmaster General for upending the Postal Service during the pandemic. We have witnessed lines of people in Maryland trying to get their undelivered mail. And retired Naval Captain Louise Martin says her drugs for hypertension are 10 days late. This is a dangerous situation. I think of my colleagues who, had, who have diabetes and are out of insulin who have heart disease and out of their heart medications. This is a disgrace and we cannot tolerate this. A virtual who's who of Maryland Democratic leaders say the Postal Service is under attack by its own Postmaster General, Louis DeJoy, a longtime supporter of President Trump, whose reforms in office have caused delays and have raised concerns over the feasibility of mail-in voting come November. That service is hampered, as you have heard, by the deliberate slowdown, by the refusal to give overtime, by hijacking mailboxes off of every corner they can find, and taking sorting machines out of postal offices. Shame, shame, shame. Union leaders are assuring postal workers that they will prevail in what they view as the politicization of the government's most popular service. You didn't let a pandemic stop you. You didn't let COVID-19 stop you. You didn't let a coronavirus stop you. So don't let a postmaster general stop you from doing what you got to do every day. And to that end, workers are vowing to continue providing the service in rain, sleet or hail or amidst a hailstorm of controversy in this politically polarized environment. We are sure that the mail will get processed even though the machines has been removed, four from the Baltimore plant and two for the IMF in incoming mail facility. But we want to assure you that your mail will get delivered, it will be on time, it will be process efficient, and you will get your vote counted. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is calling the House back to the Capitol and she's calling on DeJoy to testify before a special committee sometime next week. Reporting in Baltimore, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.